call to order the uh, council meeting for September 15th, 2015. Stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Right hand over your heart. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States. We have a uh, presentation honoring the 50th anniversary of KJLH radio station. And uh, it reads as follows. Whereas KJLH was first aired in 1965 and later purchased by Mr. Stevie Wonder from its original owner, Mr. John Lamar Hill in 1979 and is the number one black owned and operated radio station in the greater Los Angeles area with a musical tradition spanning over 30 years. Whereas KJLH has a unique sound with the best of urban contemporary music and specialty shows such as the front page, the Steve Harvey Morning Show, Mac and Amici, and Kevin Nash, the Midnight Massage, and whereas KJLH features a host of celebrity guests and community leaders, and it has been a beacon of light dispensing relevant information on topics of social significance for its listeners, also known for their taste of soul, KGLH has a positive presence in Inglewood. And whereas KGLH indelibly personifies kindness, joy, love, and happiness, and is a strong and valuable asset in our community and serving the greater Los Angeles area for over 50 years. Now therefore be it known that the mayor and council members of the city of Inglewood, California, do hereby congratulate KGLH 102.3 Radio Free on this grand occasion. May you have continued success in all your future endeavors. Presented this 15th day of September, 2015. Did we have any representatives from the radio that a station that wanted to speak? Hello, Mike. Thank you, Your Honors. Uh, it is indeed a privilege to serve our community for 50 years. 50 years is a long time for any type of business, but especially in, in our business. And I, we just don't take this, uh, this honoring lightly. We really uh, embrace the city of Inglewood. We embrace the Southern California area. And we just thank you, thank you for uh, the deepest portion of our hearts. On behalf of Stevie Wonder, the staff and management of KJLH, we thank you for this honoring. I would like to, Your Honor, if we will, have my colleagues who are here in the back stand so that they can also be recognized. Actually, we're all going to stand over there and take a picture. My man. Okay, good deal. If everybody migrate to the, uh, that would be the southeast. Right so now? That big seal. All right. right now? All right, right now. Excellent. Thank you.
Oh, okay. You, you know what? Um, we're we're going to take a, 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 a little five-minute recess so everybody can enjoy the cake, and then we'll reconvene in five minutes. So let's, anybody wants cake, let's go get it.
afternoon, Mayor and Council Members. My name is Kimberly. I work for the American Cancer Society, and I am the Community Manager for the Inglewood Relay for Life. Relay for Life was held this year on June 6th, and with a resounding amazement of all the support that we received from the city, the city employees, the mayor, and the council members, the sponsors, the residents of Inglewood, we raised a total of $54,759. That money is used to go back to programs and services for people in the community from the American Cancer Society that's free of charge. So what, what, what it equates down to and breaks down to is that we provided over 500 five-night stays for people going through cancer treatment with their families free of charge at a Hope Lodge. You provided over 5,000 wigs for women going through breast cancer, breast cancer treatment so they can come and get a wig and a free makeup bag. And you also provided over 10,000 gas cars for people to get to and from their cancer treatments. So you guys did an amazing, amazing job. And we are just here to say thank you and show our gratitude and the success we're presenting to you. This is plaque that reads Relay for Life, American Cancer Society. City of Inglewood 2015, proud sponsor, thanking you for your continuous support. And with that being said, our two top team fundraising team captains came from the council with Council George Dotson in first place and Alex Padilla in second place. Quorum is present. Point register. Move we'll allow payment of the bills. Okay. Second. Council and agency members. Dotson. Aye. Padilla. Aye. Morales. Aye. Franklin. Aye. Mayor Chairman Butts. Aye. Uh, approval of the minutes held uh, for council, successor, agency, housing authority, and finance authority on Don't August move. 25th, 2015. So moved. Second. Second. Um, council and agency members, Dotson? Aye. Padilla? Aye. Morales? Aye. Franklin? Aye. Mayor Chairman Butts? Aye. So moved. So moved. Second. Council um, members, Dotson? Aye. Aye. Morales? Aye. Franklin? Aye. Mayor Butts? Aye. Fiscal year 2015-16 salary ordinance? Motion away for the reading. Second. Dotson? Aye. Padilla? Aye. Morales? Aye. Franklin? Aye. Mayor Butts? Aye. I introduce the ordinance. Staff report recommending, uh, no, staff report requesting that a public hearing be set to consider the adoption of an ordinance for the expedited permitting process for small residential rooftop solar system. Set the public hearing for September 29, 2015 at 7 p.m. Uh, is my mic on? All right. Because Lewis texted me earlier, said it wasn't on, so I turned it off. 
<laughs> All right, A1. Thank you, Mayor. As the CS1, there was a closed session regarding Annie Cos Crosby versus City of Inglewood. Discussion was held in direction <laughs> given to staff. CS2 was an um, anticipated litigation of one potential case. Again, discussion was held in direction given to staff, and there's no oral reports from the city attorney's office. Thank you. CM1, no city manager reports. DC1, Madam City Clerk. Um, just if you could do me a favor. Arlene Tony. Certainly. Uh, CT1, CS4, H3, and F2. Report for the month ending July 31st, 2015. Receive and file. There will be no oral reports from the city treasurer. Public comments. Any persons with address city council on any matter connected with city business not elsewhere considered may do so at this time. It's bad that I have a statement for all of you this afternoon, including the city attorney. Thank you. Mr. Fisher has lost his voice, so he printed a statement which reads, I'm submitting a written statement to you because I am currently suffering from laryngitis and my voice is very hoarse. I wanted to express my concern regarding what I have read recently concerning bringing a farmer's market to the city. While I do agree that a farmer's market is something beneficial for residents, the city has had many opportunities in the past to implement one, including the previous RFP issued in which my son was the sole applicant to apply. It is concerning that the city has chosen this route without equal engagement of all concerned. Thank you. Hey, and my name is Diane Sombrano, and I think as I look at the clock, Ms. Sombrano, you, are we not under public hold, comments? Hold on one second. You just use your time to read. I use statement. the time for Mr. <coughs> that, Fisher. That's not Are allowed. you telling me I use the entire three minutes? Hold, hold on one. Hold on one second. We're at one minute right now. But I, what I'm going to do is let you do this this time. But if you read someone else's statement next time, that'll go towards your time. So go right ahead with your statement. Once again, we have the city council avoiding the opportunity for public interaction. You had your entire meeting under A, B, C, D, E, and F, G, and no one who watched the four-minute meeting had a clue which you passed. That is disrespectful to the community who you think might think you're running this in a fair, equitable manner. Thank you. Hello, Honorable Mayor and Honorable City Council. My name is uh, Bob Adams, and I'm with uh, AFSCME Council District 36. I'm um, the NASME group affiliated with um, our union, and uh, I'm just happy and a stag to be um, involved with uh, starting a relationship with this city. Uh, AFSCME represents 1.6 million employees throughout the United States, and uh, 55,000 of those employees are in the Southern California area. Um, in saying this, I would like to also um, bring an item that was that's on here. It's the um, DR1, uh, Human Resources uh, Salary Ordinance, on page three. Um, we had not had the opportunity to meet and confer on this. We just got this information today, and there's some things on there that actually are um, um, that are additions and job specs and stuff like that. And we request another week in order to take a look at that. So that is our request. Thank it's you already much. been approved. Thank you, sir. All right. Thank you very much. Adi, Veronica Mackey, Inglewood today. I just wanted to give everyone details for the uh, home going of Cynthia Manker. A lot of you may know her. She used to cover the council meetings before I did. Um, she's very dear and near to us, and she was the former associate editor of Inglewood today. Anyways, uh, also I request that the uh, meeting be closed in her name as well, Cynthia Manker. Um, Cynthia's home going will be this Saturday, the 19th at 10 a.m at the Core Church, Los Angeles. That's 2037 La Cienega Boulevard in Los Angeles. Following that, there will be a um, reception at the Hawthorne Memorial Center, 3901 West El Segundo. That's on the corner of El Segundo and uh, Prairie. So, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
Good afternoon, uh, City Council Mayor and staff. I wasn't going to say anything today, but it concerns me how the uh, residents are being treated within this City Council when we come to the meetings. Um, that was a perfectly legit thing that Ms. Sobrano did for Mr. Fisher because he does have laryngitis and he cannot um, speak for himself. And where is your empathy for the people? It doesn't uh, seem as though you have very much when it comes to these conducting these meetings. And uh, it's very distressful to me. The fact that we're cut down to one minute to say what we have to say, and now someone cannot uh, assist another citizen with whatever they want to uh, express to the city council. I just wanted to make a point of letting you know that uh, I don't think that's very fair. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Sly. Just for the record, uh, we made sure that the city clerk was going to put his comments into the minutes. So they were going to be included in the minutes of the meeting. But, but what we're not going to do is have everyone say I'm speaking for someone else and then have their time too. That's all. Go ahead. Mr. My name AG. is Willie A.G. and I live in the beautiful city of Inglewood. I don't think you should change the rules for one or two people. We got 115,000 people here in this city that we represent and, uh, you know, stick to the rules. Uh, we got a bunch of beautiful senior citizens here visiting us today, and it's fantastic. I, I'd just like for you to stand up and say hi. Let, let the people see what we got in Inglewood. Absolutely. Welcome, everybody. So Absolutely. glad to see you out here. Thank you for coming at out. Day, at, the, at, the, at a day and meeting. <laughs> you, see, uh, you see we got a city that's run by people. We don't argue. We just get the work done. Just keep up the good work. These are fabulous people. And that's my cousin sitting over there, Wanda Brown. One in some years, they were lost a penny. That's, that's a record. Thank you very much. Thank you for coming. Thank you, folks. OK, close public comment. Uh, Mayor and council remarks, uh, Councilman Dodson. Uh, first of all, I want to thank coming today and uh, we'll have a little meeting after this if you don't mind um, the other thing is I would like to make sure that you you're all mark your calendar for September 26 a sweating day event I'll be having at the ICOP Center It'll be from 9 to 12 September the 26 so get your important papers ready that you need to destroy bring them on over have some coffee and, and rolls and let them destroy those important papers. I also want to remind you about the farmer's market. It's uh, on September 17th from 3 to 7 on Market Street. A Thursday? Yeah. Thursday. Thursday uh, on Market Street between Manchester and Network. Uh, Pat, thank you all for coming and the next meeting. I will, Councilman Padilla. Great, thank you, Mayor. Just a couple of comments. Uh, some of you on your chairs, you may have some flyers. Uh, I'm having my District 2 picnic uh, on Saturday, September 26th at North Park, starting at noon. As part of that uh, picnic, we're doing a chili cook-off. So come on down. I think we have about uh, 10 folks participating in the chili cook-off. We're trying to get the fire department to represent, so we're standing by for them to come out. A little pressure on them. Uh, but uh, it's a great community event. And let me tell you, it's not just for those that live in District 2. It's for anybody that wants to come out and celebrate all the good things that we're doing in the city of Inglewood. It's being held in District 2. I'm spearheading it, but it's for all of us. So it's a District 2 picnic here in the beautiful city of Inglewood at North Park. You also have another flyer, hopefully on there. If you don't, it's on, on the desk. Uh, that's for the car show and the Hispanic Heritage Festival that's taking place this Saturday right across from City Hall at Crozier School. Uh, and the event kicks off at 11 o'clock. And we're going to have about 40 or 50 car shows. We're going to have vent or cars. We're going to have vendors out there. We're going to have entertainment. It's going to be a great community event. Again, a community event that's for all of us, all of you, all of us to enjoy.
That's what's so beautiful about this city of Inglewood. We do everything for the families to come together and to celebrate. Matter of fact, talk about celebrate. I know the, the mayor and the council members were busy this week, and I, I can tell you that uh, we enjoyed the uh, L.A. County Fire Department right here at uh, Station 171 on Regent Street, had their pancake breakfast, uh, very well attended, and uh, the, uh, it was for the explorers from the fire department. And I'm, uh, I got to tell you, I want to commend them uh, for all the work they did, and uh, hopefully they raised some good money to help their program out. Uh, also, I want to congratulate Chris and Wendy Chabot uh, for their grand opening of the Custom Boot Camp, which is located in the shopping center over on the uh, southwest corner of La Brea and Centinella. Uh, we also went out to the La Tijera Charter School back to school event, which was held on Saturday as well, followed by the 64th place block club uh, celebration. And also, uh, the mayor and I had an opportunity to present uh, a resident who we uh, worked with at the Santa Monica Police Department several years back on her 90th birthday for Pats Patsy Mamory. So uh, uh, congratulations to her on reaching her uh, 90th birthday. Uh, we also attended a, a, a block club in District 3, and I'm sure uh, Mr. Uh, Councilman Morales will touch on that. But again, these are the things that we do as part of the community, I also attended the, uh, the fiesta at the Adobe on Sunday. So uh, these are things that are, are, are open to the community uh, that we should all take advantage of. And uh, with that, thank you so very much. I look forward to seeing you on Saturday at the Hispanic Festival. Did you go over? I went over, Mayor, and you didn't catch me. Okay, Elo. it's all good. So, <laughs> Elo, Elo, I got to take a minute from you, man. Yeah, all right. All right. Councilman Franklin? Yes, but don't take my minute. <laughs> Um, first of all, let me just piggyback what my colleague was talking about with reference to recognition to the number of uh, block party events. Um, Century Heights had their business meeting uh, right out in the street with a number of utility companies, including the fire department and Southern California uh, Gas Company, et cetera, being there and giving us a lot of detailed information regarding what's going on uh, within their respective uh, areas. So I thank the mayor and his wife for also being in attendance who also spoke up in reference to different activities going on in the city. And then I was given the opportunity to speak, uh, but the, the person that stowed the show was my granddaughter, five years old, who then uh, introduced the firefighters. And so it was a great experience. As we went on into the District 2's area, we did get to the 64th Street uh, block party. And then finally, we concluded that the 1100 block of Truro in District 3, uh, which I had trouble pulling my granddaughter away you had more activity, Councilman Morales, than, uh, than Carter has pills. There was between the jumpers and the face painting and, and being able to use the chalk on the streets. Uh, it was an outstanding event, but more importantly, it was the solidarity of the community of being able to share together and all three of those events, and my hats are off to them as well. Uh, I, too, am thankful to hear that uh, Veronica did acknowledge uh, Cynthia Banker for her her outstanding outreach into the community. Not only was she an outstanding reporter for the Inglewood Today newspaper, but she also was very active with the Black Couples Matter and that she got me and my wife involved when we were 30 some years in marriage, now we're 42 years in marriage. And then City Lights, which she does also with the fundraising efforts for uh, helping our, our kids get scholarship funds, et cetera. Uh, in conclusion, Mayor, I ask that you close the meeting in honor of my former Citizens Police Oversight Commissioner, a longtime Inglewood resident, and uh, his name is Alan Kaplan, the, hu the husband of Arbery Kaplan, uh, who is also the daughter of Larry Arbery, and so we want to make sure that we reach out to the family as well. And we was, last night I was at the uh, Shanera Avenue Block Club, and we closed the meeting in honor of the, where, he re where he resides. So if you'll do that, Mayor, I'd appreciate it. Thank you. I will. Um, what was I Madam Treasurer, did you want to say a few words? <laughs> well, wait, now, now you know you weren't like here. You like, so <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, Treasurer's report for the month of July. And the funds under management for the city of Inglewood is $91,990,459. And the uh, 
debt service interest earnings is $26, and the interest earnings is $38,551, and the successor agency uh, portfolio is $100,742,430, and the debt service interest earnings is $10,274, housing authority $100,942, public finance $15,801,170, and the debt service interest earnings, again, is $1,666. Total, total funds under management is $208,635,001. And again, the report is also available on the, on the table to the outside. And I'd just like to point out, you know, how the city has certainly grown, you know, over, over the years and, and currently under the last uh, uh, six years. The portfolio was roughly $38 million when I first started as treasurer in 1987, and today is $208,635,001. So our city certainly has sent a tremendous amount of progress, and the city has certainly uh, had a great deal of progress within the, particularly these last uh, six years, thanks to this council and to the leadership that it has taken, you know, under the uh, leadership of our mayor, and I certainly appreciate that, along, of course, with our city manager and our newest city attorney, whom, uh, this has become one of my buddies also, but our city is just batting a thousand, you know, and, uh, and it has the most progress of any city in all of the United States. I mean, we have right now, I was going to Hollywood Park, you know, about to have a football stadium. We're talking about over near, nearly $5 billion in a city that's less than nine square miles with more than 115 of the best folks in America. And again, I'm just so proud of this council and so proud of our staff and all that have done just a wonderful job. These last six years have been the best years of my 29 years that I have served as treasurer for this city. And I certainly uh, I commend this council, Councilman Franklin, my buddy Morales, and, uh, and also Councilman Padilla, Councilman uh, Dotson, and of course, our outstanding and brilliant mayor. You know, he really is, he really is, um, has had a great deal of vision that, you know, some of, that simply has not happened on some of the others, may not to really put down anyone else, because I have sat under several mayors, five police chiefs, so I have seen a lot within these last 29 years, and I am particularly proud of this particular council. That concludes my remarks. Finally, y'all. <laughs> and I know my and I know my raise is coming up. <laughs> I think I think we should record you guys. Every morning I want to listen to that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for the morning. Listen, um, you know, just to just to add to that, you know, you're absolutely right. My the last five years, I can honestly say, I've seen more be done in the mm -hmm. city, and and whether, uh, however, whether the plan is aligned or whatever, it doesn't matter. I mean, if people aren't ready to make the decisions, it doesn't happen. And we keep pointing at the mayor, and you know, he gets beat up so he could get pointed at and accurate as well so um, I just want to say that just to add to that I really appreciate it Wanda I know you were sincere when you say that Absolutely. the um, uh, the guys did a good job about talking about everything that was going on this weekend and it started getting me think man for such a small city we just have a lot going on on the weekends for the residents you know and it's it's tough not to notice I mean you have to point at it and just be upset but I do I remember growing up here and having you know, the Rogers Park festivals, the health fairs, and actually going to these things. I remember it. So I know it's a big deal when we're walking around, we're doing what we're doing. I know that there's kids running around and they're enjoying it and they're gonna remember it just like I remember it, you know, and I think that is really cool. Um, there are plenty of block clubs, one of which was Truro Block Club, which is uh, Kathy Douglas, uh, who is the daughter of the late Mr. Roosevelt Douglas, who was a great friend to all of us. And uh, he started something more than 30 years ago that keeps going. And it's, it's, it's just a bunch of real people, 
uh, that treat us very good and, and make us feel very comfortable. And, and you know, it's not just that we point out the fact that we know uh, that progress is happening. People are out there, they're telling us, you know, and it, 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 it makes us feel good because, um, you know, you just keep working and good things happen. So uh, that's, that's just one thing I wanted to say. I wanted to, uh, um, you know, Miss Mankar, who passed away from uh, the Englewood today, I, I, my memory of her is she had the greatest sense of humor. She could put it, I don't know if anybody ever saw her perform at some of these, these things where she would do, make the introductions. I mean, man, following her was tough. Following her was tough every time. So uh, we'll miss her. Um, and then uh, uh, just thank staff because they went out and um, uh, were at the Truro Block Club also and stopped by to do some face painting. I just wanted to thank them for that. So thank you very much. I want to thank the city treasurer for her um, perspective. Um, she's been around a lot longer than I have, and and so that combined with feedback from the community, you know, it really lets me know that our compass is headed due north, and, and I'm very proud of you know what the, the council's been able to accomplish in working in concert with the community. Uh, I remember I wanted to let uh, Mr. Fisher know, even though he's left, that. The city has not awarded a farmer's market, market to anyone, that there's an ordinance that allows a limited number of markets to be held in a business district, and that's all that's happening here. The city has not blessed, adopted, or anything like that. And if the question had been asked, we would have told. And when it comes to reading statements, the reason we're not going to do that, because then what happens next, someone can't make it to a council meeting, they want you to read their statement. And so we just can't do that. But what we did do, was make sure that his, his statement was synopsized to be in the minutes. And that's really all that lasts here are the minutes. So if you watch this, Mr. Fisher, it hasn't been awarded, and uh, your comments were put in the minutes. And uh, I want to close the meeting in the name of Arlene Tony. I think it's Roscoe Williams, Alan Kaplan, and uh, Cynthia Manker. Uh, was just a talent. She wasn't just a person. She was a force of nature. Little bitty woman who was around here ever since I got back. Had so much spirit, so much spunk, and she suffered so greatly over such a great long period of time. And she's just uh, heroic as an example to people in, in, when it comes to perseverance. And I never heard her complain a day. Never heard her complain one minute. So we close this council meeting in honor of Cynthia, Arlene, Roscoe, and Alan. We're adjourned.